blackpopsauceauces.com. Today we're going to be bringing to you another made for sauce meal. And what we're going to be cooking today is fermented spaghetti and chicken marinara sauce. Basically, about 36 hours ago, I took some spaghetti and I put it in a brine for the mango, for the habanero, mango, and pineapple sauce that I made in uh, February. So basically, I took the brine of six months and I put some organic whole grain spaghetti in it and let it soak for 30 hours. And I gotta tell you, it's looking pretty beautiful. But anyway, what we're gonna be doing, or what we're gonna be using today, uh, for the marinara sauce, we're gonna be using ground chicken breast. If you like more flavor, use ground chicken instead of the ground chicken breast. The ground chicken breast, the ground chicken breast is really lean and uh, the less fat content to me is just not as flavorful. But I'm trying to lose a little weight, so I got the ground chicken breast. But anyway, ground chicken breast, um, Rana's marinara sauce, love this love this uh we're going to be mixing it with the prego five cheese or three cheese and of course some hunt tomato paste i think this is the uh basil and garlic and oregano one and then nothing goes without the hot sauce and today we're going to be using uh this is actually a sauce that i just made so today we're going to be using the apples jacked hot sauce and the spicy rub we're going to be using is the summer heat. On top of all that, we're going to turn around and make our own garlic bread or Texas toast. I don't even know why I call it garlic bread, Texas toast. Uh, and what we're going to be using for that is the perfectly crafted nature's own uh broochy bread a broochy bread broochy style thick bread if i'm pronouncing that correctly i'm probably not but anyway uh that's my pronunciation for it and now that you got all the ingredients we're gonna jump right on it i started the process already by heating up my water for the spaghetti first i heat up my water for two reasons you want your water to be hot when you put your spaghetti in it even though this stuff is already ready technically it's so soft that it's already ready but before we give it its hot bath we want the water to boil to come to a boil if for no other reason than to release the chemicals that they put in the water at the public municipality basically chlorine, all that. You want all that to burn off. So when you do put your sauce into the water, you're getting as close to pure water as you could possibly get without using pure water. So we already got that happening. So what I'm gonna do is set up and then come back and we're gonna start on this sauce. Okay, now, first thing we're gonna do with our sauce is take the prego and go ahead and put it in our pan. We start with this one and then set it upside down and give it a few seconds to drain to the bottom. Then I want to take my Rana marinara 
and I want to go ahead and I want to add that to my sauce. Take my spatula and get that out. Give it a little stir. Finally, I'm gonna take my tomato paste and one scoop at a time, make sure I get all of it into my sauce. I want to stir that up so then give that a quick blend now I want to take whatever remaining that fell out of this drop it in okay now I want to salt my sauce pepper and season it with our summer heat spicy rub I'm gonna stir it up and reduce the heat Now I want to add my hot sauce. Again, this is the Apple Jacks hot sauce. One of our newest sauces. And this is one of our milder sauces, so we'll go generous on it. And stir that in. it again it's probably like two tablespoons full or one ounce okay now we're gonna start on getting our chicken ready first thing I'm gonna do is instead of using oil I'm gonna use butter grease my pan yeah I know I said I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm using lean chicken, so the fat from the butter, <laughs> I think it balance out. <laughs> yeah, I know, makes no sense, but this is what we doing. Okay, now, I'm gonna simply take my chicken, and put it right in my pan. Our salt, our pepper rather, generously. Salt generously. And of course, summer heat, spicy rub. We're gonna go generous on that. Now we'll cover it up, let it cook. I can smell the butter browning. So now, I want to take my chicken, just flip it. Oh my gosh.
Now, if you're using just a regular ground chicken, the little fattier one, uh, then I really don't suggest you use the butter, unless you just don't care. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But uh, with this ground chicken, man, I need it. I gotta have it. <laughs> okay, while the chicken's preparing, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our fermented macaroni, uh, not macaroni, <laughs> angel hair spaghetti, and we're gonna make a mess while we getting it out of here. It's already ready. I don't think it's not. It's already ready. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be nice. <laughs> okay, now, back to the chicken. I'm gonna flip it again. and start to tear it down. Cover it up. You wanna maintain the juices inside of the pot. So you let it build up. Then you go back at it, start chopping it down. Then before it dries out, you close it up, let it build up again. Now, you wanna dry it out because you're getting ready to put it inside the sauce and you don't want it to be greasy or anything or juicy or, or not juicy, but you don't want it to be too moist going into your sauce because then it adds, adds grease or whatever you're cooking it in into your sauce and you don't want that. So you want to just go ahead and leave the top off and let it dry out while you're chopping it up or separating it basically. Look at that. You, at this point, you want to cut your spaghetti off because, again, it was already done. You got, you brought your water to a boil, and then you set your spaghetti inside of that water. It done had its bath. Now you want to cut it off. I'm going to go ahead and bring my sauce over here and gently scoop or slide my chicken into my sauce. Now what I want to do is stir it up and get it all in there, get it all mixed. Now, I want to take my, un my, my pan. Don't clean your pan. You want that chicken to stay right up in there. And I want to take some more butter, about a tablespoonful, 
and I want to put it in there. I want that to melt down. Now, you want to take however many slices of uh, Texas toast that you want, and you want to just lay it in there. Let it soak up all that goodness. You want to get your piece of parchment paper for having many slices that you're going to need. And you want to just work on your slices. Look at that. Woo! Lay it down in there. And you want it to just soak up all of that. Seasoning and that butter. You can cut this pan off. Take it out. And while it's hot, you want to take your garlic powder, just sprinkle on it. Then you want to take your cheese and however you like it. If you like it light, you go light. Me, I want it to be damn near like pizza. And just lay it on there. Okay, now, I want to take it, put it in my oven. Bake 350, start, let it do its thing. Now, what we want to do, we want to drain our spaghetti. So basically, I want to take another pot and just want to pour all that off my spaghetti. Separate my spaghetti from the brine. Once I've done this, I want to put my spaghetti back in my pot. Put it in cold water. It's going to automatically shut the cooking process down. I've already taken all the brine and the boiled water off, and I'll just discard it. Flavor, pure flavor. The spices from the hot sauce, I take that back. The spices from the brand that the hot sauce was made from. And we didn't put no salt on it. We didn't put no, no kind of seasoning, no nothing on the sauce or on the spaghetti or in the water. The brand did it all. And it's, I can't even tell you how it tastes, it's great. Okay, now to my favorite part of doing this, this whole process. Time to plate it. Thing I wanna do is start with the spaghetti. Oh yeah. 
Then I want to come back. And I want to immediately go for my sauce. Look at that. Woo! You know your sauce is right when you take a spoon with holes in it. If your sauce dripping through, you done something wrong. The sauce should be nice and thick. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's a sauce. Homemade Texas toast. There you go, folks. Fermented spaghetti, chicken marinara with homemade Texas toast. Spaghetti is perfect. Sauce is flavorful. Tangy. Perfect amount of heat. Oh man, this is great. Let me gonna try something with this Texas toast. Crunchy on the outside, tender on the inside. Cheese is just perfect. Full of flavor, perfect. Don't need nothing else. Good Lord have mercy, I need a chair. Oh my gosh. All right, folks, it's that time. Peace.